Hello and welcome everyone. I made a new plugin and it's called Glitch Shifter. It is a pitch shifter that you can have if you have a Windows computer and a door with VST3 support with um, VST3 64 bit support. So I have a trumpet sound here, it sounds like this. And now I have glitch shifter on it and it sounds like this. So there's a lot going on now and I have to explain that, I guess. Um, but it's pretty easy to explain actually. I think it's one of my most self-explanatory plugins, I, at least I hope so. So um, it has a grain size like most pitch shifters. So the smaller grain sizes are good for the more tighter sound, but they don't sound as smooth as the bigger ones where you can really s hear the pumping. And there is a tune up. There is a fine knob that only um, moves the tune between minus one and one. So the thing is, um, the semitone one is actually always rounding to the next integer so that you can have clean steps between the tunes, but this one is continuous so you can like go very fine with it, even finer than the, than the parameter itself shows. And yeah, that's um, that's basically why I made them two different parameters. Now there is feedback. It basically adds a feedback path to the um, pitch shifter, which is a unique plugin. At least I didn't see it in any other pitch shifter yet, even though it's pretty cool. And yeah, there is spread tune. As you can hear um, and probably also expect from the name, there are different voices going on and each of them has its own pitch shifter and each of these pitch shifters has a slightly different tune and you can define how spread out the tunes are from all of these um, different voices. So basically when you turn it up completely, then the voice that is most far away from the middle voice uh, is one semitone away and else when you have it down here then all of the voices are very close to each other and give you a very straight and laser sound. Now let's actually play around with this a little bit. Now the next feature that I want to show you is that you can make an alternative patch and then interpolate between these. So let's say I want to have my secondary patch to be one where the um, tune is not on an octave but actually on one of the more spicy notes.
Now if you are not perfectly comfortable with the way it transits from one patch to the other, you can put your parameters into BIOS mode and tweak the way the macro behaves for each of the knobs individually. So if you wanted it to only go to the next grain size at the end of the modulation, you would have to turn the bias down as you can see. Now it barely moves at all, only at the end it starts to actually go there on the last few percentages of the macro knob. It sounds like this. So now you get, get this um, rather discontinuous jump at the end, which can make sense if you want to have a little bit of a bumpiness to transit into a certain different sound or something like that. Or um, you could actually make sure that the tune also only goes down at the very end. And maybe um, the fine one is not so important, but maybe you want the feedback to uh, only really reveal itself at the end as well. And spread tune should be spread out into the um, more narrow direction very soon. And you don't want to get the mix too obvious, maybe. Let's see how this sounds. So yeah, that, that's one way to um, use the macro to create a little bit of a more interesting dynamic that is then mapped to only one parameter that you can easily modulate with your DOS modulators if, you, if they have some or with a simple automation or something. Now if you are unhappy with all this stuff, you can um, hold and click CTRL on different modes to just remove the modulation. You can also CTL click on the parameters to get back to the default values, which uh, usually works pretty well. But I just found that there is a little bug when in my last attempt of making this video where the default value of some parameters doesn't quite work, like on this tune knob, I don't know. Or actually does it? It's 12 semitones. Did, was 12 semitones what I implemented? I think, yeah. It, it was but um, sorry for the confusion but it's just that I made a little feature in here that you can save a new default value um, so like this save default and now it should always go back to this one which does work but when I think when instantiating a new instance then it goes to 12 still so something about this thing doesn't really work the way I want it yet. But let's just ignore that for now because it's just a side feature. Um, another feature that you have in here is you can log parameters. So let's say you always want to have full mix and normal gain. You always want to have maxed out voicing. And you always want to have your fine tune in the middle. But everything else is sort of up to you, the Im imagination of the plugin. And now oh, you also want to have always um, oversampling turned on. And now you can just hit the randomizer. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now you know all the things that you have to know um, in order to enjoy this plugin sonically. I will just tell you some of the other features that you can find here now. You have a little options menu with a welcome page, a page that reminds you of the controls if uh, you can't um, remember them on first try and a page where you can tweak the color scheme to your likings. I hope the default theme is not um, destroying your eyes too much. I think it's pretty okay. And um, a little thank you page that you can read if you feel um, like reading a heartwarming text. A link to my Discord if you want to discuss features or tell me about bugs, which I'm very um, grateful about because I want to improve. And a donate button if you feel like you're a cool person who um, wants other people to be happy as well. Um, but no stress, you can just test this plugin for years if you feel like it. I know it's sometimes hard to really evaluate what's valuable for you personally. Um, yeah, and everyone sees that a little bit differently anyway. So now this is the plugin and in order to get it, I think I'm not even sure if I mentioned that yet in this attempt of making a video. I attempted it multiple times, you got you gotta see. Um, and just in case that I didn't mention it in the beginning, because I don't want to edit this video, I mention it now. So on my GitHub page, um, you can click on Glitch Shifter, and then there is the releases page or something and there you can download a zip file and this zip file contains the VST3 file for Windows 64 bit. Now in case you are a programmer and you are here because you want to know if this thing is open source, it is open source, yes, check, just check it out, this is all this stuff. If you want to go to the pitch shifter itself, it's uh, at audio and then at pitch shifter and it doesn't use any third party libraries so you can scroll through this thing and just you know, enjoy the view and maybe get inspired to write your own pitch shifter or something. Um, and yeah, if you make something with this that's pretty cool and that kind of uh, extends this idea or something that I would be interested in checking it out myself and testing it and promoting it on my YouTube channel as well, of course. So we can really go on with this. And if you are a programmer who wants to contribute to the glitch shifter since it's open source and everything, Maybe you um, downloaded the code and changed something about it. Maybe added some more modes or fixed the issue where it sometimes sounds a little bit too tremolo -y. Um Or some other issue, I don't know. It, you, you know, anything. Or maybe just better looks. Whatever you feel like. Um, then you can just make a pull request and I'm checking it out and usually I'm very grateful about all of the pull requests I get and I think up until now I never declined a pull request because people always made cool pull requests. Like one time a peop someone um, added some stuff to my other plugin Nell so that it can be compiled for Mac and um, Linux. And yeah, that's the usual kind of stuff that I get here. So I'm very grateful about all that. Um, yeah, so that's a pretty cool opportunity for you now to get a new pitch shift on everything. Hope you are having fun with it.